Well guys, it's nice and quiet at the yard this morning so should be able to show you all. So I'm going to hook up to this one. Same trailer as I had yesterday but a different number so it's not exactly the same but it's the same spec. Five's coupled so I'm going to put the uh, put the airlines and everything on before I hook up to the pin. Someone else doesn't like putting the handbrake on. Oh no. I've got oil on my bloody thing. <coughs> so, I hope you guys are alright. Airlines and electrics. Keep the trailer going. Right now, back around. See how far the legs are off. Yeah, that'll be alright. Sometimes I'll pick the legs up a little bit there. Depending how much I've lifted the trailer. I feel like I'm shouting guys, sorry if I am. Right, I've turned my seat thing off in case there's anyone in bed. So we're in. Two shunts. Good and proper, just the way you like it. Number plate. Dog clip. Double check the bar I normally do. Just to be 101% sure it's in, even though I've done my tugs. Hey guys, it's, it's gonna be a heavy one today. 26 pallets of bloody beer? Oh. I don't drink Guinness though, so. Well, the night man's strapped it up nice and good. Thank you very much. Oh, I got a headache this morning as it is. Yeah, and I'm looking at all that Guinness. Other beers and alcohol are available. Oh, it's the one with the... It's the one with the temperamental hand... Handle. <laughs> okay. I forgot to put my hazards on. Right, so... Uh, I'm new to this trailer, so we're getting a good check of this. Tires look decent. Let's go under the legs. Check the tires on the other side. Put my hazards on as well. Under the handbrake. <coughs> now you might remember last Friday I said to you that I got some interesting news for you all this week. Um, basically, today's my last day driving for this company. Um, as you can probably tell from the videos, I enjoy the work. But, I've been offered a position in somewhere with a lot better pay. So, I'm going to pursue that job, so, but don't worry, I'm still going to be bringing you 
videos. Still going to be vlogging and I might be in a, a lot better truck as well. Let's just whack them indicators on, turn the cab, the rear cab light off. You can see the reflection already, but it doesn't hurt to come and have a proper look. Okay. Oh, good to go. I'll put this clip in. Just stop it clipping back round and falling off. You know what the M25 is like with all the bumps. Sometimes it, the bumps could uh, take the handle out. So, unless I'm mistaken, we are good to go. We are 14. 0.5 and a half inches high, 14 feet, uh, 4.4 meters. So I know where I'm going doesn't require any height limits or bridges anyway. So, oh my goodness me, did I just do that live? Whew. Right. Let's get this show on the road. Well, we're just flying around the M25 now. I just wanted to include a little clip of the, this beautiful sunrise again that we're having down. Absolutely stunning colours. So, fortunately so far so good traffic wise. The occasional retard doing like, I don't know, 50 mile an hour down the M25, fair play to him. You never know, you might get there tomorrow. The thing about the M25, there's a lot of sweeping downhills like this one. You gotta keep an eye on your speed because although we've got limiters on there, they don't limit gravity. Well guys, we've had a bit of a development in today's mission. Uh, got on time to the delivery in Thurrock, but on opening the curtains we've discovered at least four or five pallets on the one side that have been damaged. Uh, nothing to do with our transportation, it looks like they've been damaged prior to loading. Uh, just cans that have been pierced or crushed and emptied their contents so unfortunately the load's been rejected and I've got a three and a half three and a half hour drive back up to return it back to the uh, supplier so yeah it's, it's one of them things it does happen so, sometimes the customer We'll just return the damaged pallets, but in worst case scenarios, such as today, she's just rejected the whole load. And I've got to take it all back now. So, one positive is I haven't got to go into the middle of London for my back load. Um, it's probably got repercussions for the company, obviously. But, um, yeah. I've managed to have my half an hour break before I was uh, attempted to unload but I'm on 3 hours 52 minutes driving now so I'm going to need to pull over and have a, another half an hour break pretty soon. I'm not quite sure where I'll go, I think I might make it to save MIMS services, hopefully. But if, if any come up between here and there, I'll, I'll pull in as soon as I can. Don't wanna, I don't want to risk going over. <coughs> so yeah. 
a bit of a rejection for my last day. Oof! I made it to South Mims and technically I put it on brake when it was on 4 hours and 29 minutes. So that thing is a lie and I was watching the clock as I was reversing in and it was in the first 30 seconds of 4 hours 29 minutes as well. So I'm going to do myself a printout just for my own evidence. Um, I haven't broke the law because I, I know for a fact I didn't go into that 4 hours and 31st minute of driving. But it's always best to do a printout in any kind of uh, discrepancy. Um, yeah, I made it to South Mims. <laughs> Just about. Ah. I did take... I'd have got here perfectly if I'd have turned left. But in my... Um, in my slight haste and panic... Did I just fart? I missed out the turning for the lorry park. So never mind. I normally come, I've normally come into these services from the other side of the carriageway, so I wasn't quite used to the road layout coming from the anti-clockwise M25. So yeah, I've got half an hour now to sit here, chill out, get out and have a fag. I'll give them a, uh, well, I've started to take a few things out of the cab last night. And I've got a few more things. I've got to pack out all my food. So, it's like moving out. So I should have brought some cardboard boxes, I guess. Um, company I'm moving to is called Morgan McLernan. Truckers out there will be familiar with them. They're based slightly closer to where I'm driving to now. Um, I've treated myself to a trucker's atlas or a trucker's bible as some people will refer them to just because I'm getting a bit not fed up but I'm getting a little bit frustrated sometimes with not knowing 100% whether there's weight limits down roads yesterday was an example I knew I wasn't on a weight limit but there was just a little bit of an edge um, with this this is 25 pounds worth of book for uh, dedicated to us truckers super clear scale minion minion socks yep correct <laughs> so yeah a bit of light reading to uh, do some research it's nice and clear and you know what maps are like um, the majority of my work I'm assuming Oh, sorry if I'm shouting. The majority of my work, I'm assuming, will be going down to distribution centres. So I won't need it as such, but it's always good to have. It's this year's. Well, I hope it's this year's. I'll... I've probably paid way over the odds as well, buying it from the services, but it's mine. It's done. Yeah, so. The truck's. Apparently I've spoke to the guy and the truck's going to have a fridge and a microwave, apparently, so that's made my day. Looking forward to it even more now. Um, it's going to be a lot newer. I mean, this one's only six years old. But the he reckons that the other ones for Morgan McLernan are like one to two years old each. We'll see. Tomorrow there won't be a video of our my truck in life. Um... I don't really think I'm going to get a chance to do a video of Trailer Thought either because I'm just going to a I'm just going to a normal depot today and then back to the yard um, so there might be not be a video tomorrow unfortunately and over the weekend yeah sorry about that but uh, yeah I'm going to have my break now I'll catch you in a bit Alright guys, it's one o'clock now, uh, just got onto the M42, I uh, just wanted to ask a bit of an opinion of any of you drivers out there, those that, that uh, use sat-navs, how many of you actually have the voices activated? I always use them muted, 
because the voices just annoy the shit out of me and they say the same thing over and over and over again. Use the left lane to keep left at the fork. Stay yeah. on M42 and follow signs for A4097, A446, Kingsbury, Tamworth, M1. Did you get that? Didn't quite get that. But I've, I've timed it and it's just as... Use the left lane no. to keep left at the fork and stay on I M42. I want to go left at the fork. I time it every morning and it's exactly Continue on no. Tamworth for half a mile. See what I mean? See how annoying she is? Use the left lane to keep left at the fork and continue on M42 then use the left lane to exit at junction 9. Oh no, you just told me that already. Hang on a minute, I seem to have forgotten where I'm going. Where do you want me to go again Google? What's going on? Oh, she's not going to tell me now. She's going to confuse the shit out of her now because I'm going up the A5 instead. Use the left lane to exit at junction 9. Of course. Don't you want me to follow the signs anymore for the 4097? In a quarter no. of a mile oh. at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Litchfield Road, that A446. One. <laughs> I don't think so. Now what are you going to do? Continue on M42 for six miles. Ah, isn't doesn't that sound better? Isn't that a better option? Yeah, so basically it takes 30 minutes either way, except this way is just down the motorway, left at a roundabout, right at a roundabout, whereas the other way is, uh, let me think, here you get off the roundabout, follow it down some windy windy country windy lanes tight turns 50 mile an hour limits yet somehow that's the quickest way well guys i'm leaving uh, derby now i've dropped the trailer off and i'm solo so i haven't got a trailer or nothing on uh, i've just got to go back to the yard now and that's me done done for this company uh, we, I'm leaving on good terms, so if you know if they, uh, if I ever wish to return, they've said I can. So it's always good to leave, leave in a mutually respectful manner. Uh, the, what, he did want me to go over to Coventry and get a trailer to take back to the yard, but I literally haven't got enough time to do it. So yes. I'm going to just go back to the yard now, empty my truck out, and go home. Well, who'd have thought I'd got so much crap in here? Um, all done now, took it all to my car. i uh, just got to go and park it up for the last time. So, like I said earlier, there'll be no upload tomorrow, unless i am got time to make one, but I'm pretty much sure I won't. Uh, next one will probably be Monday. You can always check out my Facebook in the meantime. Uh, I'll be sharing previous videos if you've missed any. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And share if you want to as well. And I'll speak to you all next Monday. We've got some new exciting times coming ahead.